Hi there, my name is Peter, you may know me as Yoko, and I'm back here to get on my soapbox. In the past week or so, you may have heard about a Russian man who volunteered to have a medical procedure to have his head transplanted. I know it sounds like a crazy medical procedure, but stick with me and we'll draw this out a little bit. Of all the different international news sources that decided to run a story on this, the International Business Times decided to do a video interview with the surgeon behind the procedure. His name is Dr. Sergio Canavero. Does his face look familiar at all? Dr. Canavero is part of the Turin Advanced Neuromodulation Group. His head anastomosis venture is codenamed Heaven. He recently wrote a book called Head Transplantation and the Quest for Immortality, where he proposes a spinal cord fusion protocol named Gemini. Here are the book's chapters. He recently did a TED Talk in Limassol, Cyprus. Here's the logo for that talk. One of his recent reports was titled Painful Supernumerary Phantom Arm Following Motor Cortex Stimulation for Central Post-Stroke Pain. Wait, Phantom Pain? You mean this is the doctor that... Oh, man. So recently, the Metal Gear Solid community over at NeoGAF has been maniacally digging into what could be one of the most obscure viral marketing campaigns of all time. Is this head transplantation story really just a marketing front for Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain? What a deep, dark web that would be if it were true. But think about it though. Heaven? Clones? Ted Limassol is just an anagram for solid metals? There's everything you know is wrong? V has come to? And with the recent PC data mining that people have done for Ground Zeroes, it's kind of been determined that the hospital for the beginning sequence of the game is likely in Cyprus. Not to mention, there's this. About five years ago, Hideo Kojima tweeted a series of tweets that stated, the next project will challenge a certain type of taboo. If I mess up, I'll probably have to leave the industry. However, I don't want to pass by doing that. Today, I got an ally who would happily support me in that risk. Although it's just one person, for a start, it's good. Now, if you've been following along so far, this is a confusing mess, and of course it's still a rumor, but you're welcome to go check out the even deeper dive that goes on into that now-closed thread over at NeoGAF. But I'll give you one more thing to think about. What if Kojima being out at Konami, what if that's all a ruse too? Taking the head off of the project? It's certainly something crazy to think about. After all, that's just a theory. A game theory. Oh, okay, Matt Pat, we get it. We get it. But seriously, thank you for watching. Go check out our latest podcast episode over at showmeyournews.com slash podcast. We're back on YouTube here with segmented episodes, full episode as well. And we'll be coming back every couple weeks, spacing those parts out over the week and giving you the gaming news that you've been looking for. Anyway, with that, I'm Peter. I implore you to show me your news. Thank you.